folks, it's Kai. It's Sundays with Kai. And this is week of 13. And um, we're going to be talking about passing and going stealth. Yeah. The topics are, are you passing? What have you done to make passing easier? Any tips? And probably, are you going to go stealth or not? Gender markers is next week. And I was told... I cannot make a fun video for that. I have to actually talk about it. Fantastic. Anyway. Anyhow. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm not on tea. I do bind. I do not have a packer. Do I pass? A lot, yes. I do pass a lot. Um, not with people who knew me as a woman before. But with complete strangers, I do. If I, let me tell you some stories. Uh, I've been to coffee shops. I've been to Dunkin' Donuts. I've been to lots of places. I just, I, I went shopping for men's clothes, which I didn't really have before. Um, so I wear a lot of shorts and unisex t-shirts and I usually layer. So I have a men's undershirt and then the binder um, I wear briefs, boxer briefs, and then men's shorts, unisex sneakers, and then I layer with like, depending on the weather, um, with hoodies or with button-ups, things like that. Sometimes I just wear a top, like a shirt, whatever. And my hair is pretty gender neutral as well. And even when I speak, I tend to pass. I am a big person. I also have broad shoulders and my voice is relatively deep for a bio female. As far as, but I, I'm not chemically transitioning yet, but I still pass. I have a fairly casual stance, you know, hands in my pockets, sort of whatever. So. So far, so good. I, I tend to pass a lot more since I bought men's clothing because the pants fit differently. My chest is big, but it's okay because big guys have tits. So, yeah, I do pass. With strangers, I pass. I pass um, about 50% of the time, rough estimate, with customers at work because then there's the issue of not only are they just meeting me and we're just having a discussion, but I tend to have to explain a lot of information. And so the pitch of my voice changes a little bit, depend and I have to be professional. And my professional voice is a little bit higher than my casual voice. So that sometimes gives me away. And also my coworkers are still struggling with the pronouns. So I'll be talking to a customer who is gendering me correctly and then my co one of my co-workers comes up and is like oh yeah she's great so that sometimes plays into it also when I speak in Spanish my voice is higher pitched um, than Spanish speaking guys so, so with Spanish customers I get female pronouns it's kind of weird but casually like going into places and ordering stuff I get male pronouns 99 100% of the time so it's sort of unusual that I'm not passing at work, but I'm passing with strangers. <laughs> sort of. I don't really have plans of going stealth exactly because it, it would just be impossible due to the kind of partners I would want. I would have to come out to them and I'm kind of proud of my trans status. So I, I don't really have plans to disappear into the woodwork. Um, I kind of want to be a trans activist a little bit. And in order to do that, you have to be out. So, but in my everyday life, just going to Starbucks, I'm not going to be like, hey, I'm trans. You know, but I, I do sometimes tell customers, no, it's he. It's a uh, male pronouns. <laughs> I did talk to my therapist on Monday, and she said my voice is deeper. I, I don't really know if I'm doing anything, but there you go. Like I said, I think I'm transitioning subconsciously, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so that's passing and going stealth. 
it's kind of depends on the situation I don't on the phone I don't pass in person I pass more than I don't pass if we count strangers versus customers yeah I don't know I, I've been getting male pronouns in restaurants where I used to get female pronouns and that always makes me really excited <laughs> yeah that's it for me I mean that's six minutes but clothing helped uh, the mohawk helped and I think that because my body is sort of out of desperation moving ahead that's that's hoping I don't know I mean I'm gonna shave this again the, the shorter this is the more I pass surprisingly and that's it not not much else uh, next week is gender markers and I can't cook I have to actually talk about it so I will but I'm also really low energy because I'm sort of struggling and work has sort of been kicking my ass because it's getting hotter and when it gets warm my energy levels just go <whistles> so that will be a short video gender markers yay and then that's it I got a new camera I bought a let's make it about me because that's how many egomaniacs I'm allowed this is a Kodak ZI8 and I'm hoping to get a tripod and shoot better quality videos and also shoot outside my bedroom and not on my phone and uh, I'm pretty excited about this I can't shoot videos yet I'm waiting for a memory card because in order to shoot good quality videos there's just not enough room on the camera itself so yeah we may be seeing some really cool videos in other places but I'm really excited because the camera looks really good so we'll see what happens okay that's all I'll catch you guys next Sunday for topic 14 gender markers have a lovely week Kai out